Hey cuties, it's Amy and I'm actually in my living room. I've pulled together a variety of planners. Some of them are binder style, others are ring bound, some of them are hardcover, and wanted to go over them in depth with you. I even asked you on Instagram if there are any particular questions that you had regarding these planners. I made sure to answer them in the video, but if you have additional questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel too. I really wanted to encourage you to do whatever planning style works for you. I'm just giving you my opinion on these planners, my initial thoughts as I flip through them and do a little bit of writing and some watercolors and some stamping. Those are the things that I want to cover. So if you do have any other questions though, please leave them in the comments below and then maybe even do another planner video similar to this in the future after I've actually used some of these. I think if you are interested in planning at all on paper, this is the video for you. Let's jump right in. This planner is by Horatio Printing and the cover says, the best is yet to come. It's made of a super sturdy material and it almost feels a little bit rubbery. It does feel very strong and sturdy and I love the ring bound and the fact that the back cover is the same material, I, I wish I could describe it to you properly, but it feels really good and I think it will last. So when you open it up, it says, welcome to the family. We designed this planner to help you find peace, perspective, and strength from God. We believe in you and your ability to achieve all the dreams that God placed within your heart. We challenge you to take the time to reflect on your dreams and set your intentions. So there's a lot of prompts in here, and there's also definitely a religious undertone if you haven't picked that up already. So I think this applies for anybody who really wants to get organized in a clean fashion. I think this is a really great setup and it does have quotes on it every week and I'm going to actually decorate this for Jamie Waters. There are three criteria that I'm going to base every planner on because I use watercoloring, stamping, and also just writing with different pens. And those are the questions that I got asked most, mainly surrounding bleed through and quality of paper. So this one, I'm just going to take the Tim Holtz water brush. And I really don't like the fact that I just did that A and didn't leave a space inside of it, but I'm going to move on and finish writing Jamie. And this water brush is great. These are watercolors from Michaels, they're by the artist loft and I'll link them below along with the other supplies that I'm using and I'm going to take the Simon Says Stamp ink and my pineapple stamp and stamp it right here and instead of using the top of the pineapple to stamp I'm just using these markers to fill in and draw and doodle. I love adding personal touches and adding a bit of color to planners that are especially black and white and you can see the back has no bleed through at all. It's great quality paper. Now the ultimate test I think is this Sharpie pen and we're gonna see how it turns out along with this American Crafts precision pen. So her one little word is savor. So I'm adding, it's going to be amazing, savor it. And there's no bleed through in the back. So that was awesome. Next up is the Commit 30 Planner. It's designed to help you attain your goals and dreams by focusing on 30 day challenges. I must have gotten a little bit of water still on my thumb on the planner. The cover is really nice and rubbery, similar to the other one. I love this ruler that it has too. It shows you how to use the planner. It's designed so that you can focus on those 30 day challenges because you can do anything for 30 days. And before you know it, those 30 day commitments add up to months and years of attainable goals. The planner is designed to be completely customized for your specific goals dreams and passions. I also love that every month starts off with a quote. The pages in between are nicely thick, but this side is actually a little bit glossy. So I would recommend using a Sharpie for those pages. And there's a bunch of ideas and prompts and ways you can write down your goals to help you achieve them. 
Because I want to test out using the same methods as before, I'm going to start off with watercolors for January. And I'm just putting a quote here, the best is yet to come. And I really like the way it feels when I'm doing the watercoloring. I'm going to take these neat and tangled stamps with Pink Fresh Studio as a collaboration in one of the Pink Fresh Studio kits. And I'm just going to take this feather and stamp it here and on the right side so that I can just add a little bit of colorful detail. The yellow kind of matches that top bar up there. And next I want to take this phrase stamp from my collection and just stamp hooray. And then we'll add some writing and check on the bleed through. But the Sharpie is, I think, the ultimate test on whether uh, the pages hold up and you can see that the lettering is still wet but after it's dry it really barely shows through so there's no bleed through from the sharpie at all and I really highly recommend uh, getting this planner you can you can't see any of the writing on the other pages the cover is very sturdy the whole binding of the album uh, feels really good too and I think it's compact enough and I love that there is a gold tracker for the 30 days and I once again would recommend the Sharpie pen for that and the snap-in ruler is sturdy and very handy to pop right in. This Heidi Swap Make It Happen Planner comes in this kit. It's a memory planner kit and it comes with all these pieces pictured on the back. This one was actually a gift to my mom and she let me use it so that I can show you the pages inside that you actually have to fill in but I think it's a really great basic compact planner. She is planner crazy too so I'm just going to decorate this first page for January for her using the watercolors and then once again the pens. So at first my initial thought was that these pages were pretty thin and I was a little bit worried about the bleed through or showing on the other side but there is none at all. There, the reason the page is a little bit bumpy is because the watercolor is still wet but once it was dry you can't even see it on the back and I'm so impressed with the quality of these pages and so I tried to stamp with the black archival ink and it turned out that you can't see that either so I highly recommend this compact planner because it comes in a kit you know that all the stickers and embellishments coordinate so that you can make it your own this next one is by A Beautiful Mess, and it is their white planner. It's a little bit smaller than I had pictured from the photos on Instagram, which I actually like because the cover is super sturdy and it's ring bound. There are colorful designs throughout, yet it's customizable so that you can add your own personal touch. So as I flip through the pages, you can see that the dates are already filled in for you, and this is how the weeks are set up. And then each month divider has a little graphic. So I'm starting off with the watercolors, and I'm just writing, here we go. I'm taking these Sakura Lala planner stamps, and I'm going to just use the world one and I like the globe because I think it's simple and it kind of represents, all right, let's start something, a new journey, a new adventure. Because there are a bunch of planner stamps that were designed specifically for planners, I think it's really fun to use these acrylic ones that fit in small spaces. Now, I was a little bit worried because I didn't have the stamp block perfectly aligned, but it worked out just fine for the impression. Next, I'm going to fill in some to-dos that are pretty general that I like to do every month, every day really, is have fun, be intentional about making the best or most out of every single day and every single month and week. I think that's the beauty of planning is that you can really personalize it and set small daily habits that you can infuse into your life to make it a better one. Now. I wrote Get Stuff Done in the American Crafts Precision Pen, and I'm using this erasable friction pen underneath for Enjoy. Now, if you flip over the page, you'll notice that there's no bleed through, and I'm really impressed with the paper quality and the fact that this is such a cute size.
This is the Passion Planner from Angelia Trinidad. It comes in two different sizes. This is the smaller one, and it's customizable. The cover is soft leather, and it says, each part of Passion Planner provides enough structure to act as a solid starting point while still allowing lots of room for customization. Its layout balances structure and flexibility to allow people from all different lifestyles to incorporate it into their everyday lives. Passion Planner takes lifelong goals and breaks them down to monthly, weekly, and daily steps. So you do have to fill in the blanks, and there are plenty of prompts, so you can actually start this in any month. It doesn't have to be January. The founder and designer mentions that she wanted to make one planner that could be the place for all of your thoughts by having the structure of an appointment calendar, the potential for creativity of a sketchbook, and reflection space of a journal. She wanted a planner that not only got people thinking about where they wanted to go, but also would help them get there. She wanted to create a planner that she wished someone had given her when she was feeling lost, and that's how it was born. So I decided to fill in this bottom part here because I'm not sure I like the appointment style with the time slots because I don't do a lot of appointments. I'm not sure that this would work for me on that small scale, but I do love the fact that the paper quality is really good. There's no show through at all in the back. And I also think that this is great for somebody who needs motivation to really start planning and fulfilling their passions. This is the Simple Stories Carpe Diem Snap A5 Planner. I have the platinum one and it is gorgeous. It feels so good and I think the color is beautiful and it's kind of like a rose gold shimmer pearly. It's hard to describe but it's gorgeous. The lining is black fabric with white polka dots. You have to tear off this little, I think, just protector thing. And also inside is an A5 tablet, elastic pen loop, 12 monthly calendar pages, 12 tab dividers, 72 weekly inserts, one acetate dashboard with silver foil print, seven assorted decorative inserts, and a metal camera charm. There are four interior pockets, and it is so fun, really well designed, colorful and you can fill in and customize it on your own so you do have to fill in the date so you can use this for any year doesn't have to be 2016. I'm writing my name in script in the front over here next to this colorful page with a bunch of stuff that I actually really like like donuts and coffee and a shopping bag and a doggy. Cute graphics like this come in the planner as well as embellishments and accessories that you can purchase separately that coordinate. And I love the colors and all the fun little additions so you don't have to feel like you have to customize it so much. I think just a few little additions would really make this your own. I think it's also a good alternative to higher priced A5 planners like Kiki K and you can see that there's a little bit of warping only because it's still wet like I said but um, once it was dry I can confirm that you couldn't see it at all so there was no bleed through you can't see the other stuff Personally, I think this is a little big for me to carry around, but I do love it and I know plenty of people who love and swear by the A5 size I really just love the little dividers and the prompts and it's just cute and colorful and really fun. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been using the Get to Work book for quite some time and I really love how it works for me. This is the prompt for January and you can actually tear it out and hang it up, but I love the fact that it's weekly and there's no time slots. I like the gray scale so I can customize it as I see fit. I've really enjoyed doing a bunch of stuff and then also keeping it messy and this is what's working for me which is what I think is the most important part of this whole planning thing is finding the one that works for you to help you achieve your goals and get stuff done. And I really hope you've enjoyed seeing all of these planners. Happy New Year, everyone. May you plan on making it the best year yet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course leave any questions below. Looking forward to sharing more planning videos with you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.